Hey guys, Jen here. As you can see by the American Pavilion, what's it called? The American Adventure behind me. You think I would know this by now? It's like I would do I even vlog? But I am here for part two of the What's Open in Epcot. So I actually decided to film them both on the same day because my Magic Kingdom one, I tried to rebook a Magic Kingdom day and wasn't able to rebook it. So I gotta hopefully film that next week. But um, let's start in America and work our way back to the front and then do the other half of Future World and find out what's open. here with the American Garden Theater. So they are doing um, two different shows that are rotating throughout the day. One is the Jammeters and the other is Marimba de la Americas, which I believe is being performed by Mariachi Cobre, but I could be wrong. But um, the storms are finally starting to roll out and they're actually look like they're getting ready to open up the stage. So there may be more shows tonight, but um, I'm not going to be hanging out. Oh, yep. Jammeters are walking in. So I got me a front row seat to the Jammeters. Strawberry, raspberry, berry, berry. We love all kinds of jams. That's why we call ourselves the Epcot Jamming Shacks. That's right. Yeah. Oh, or the Jammers. <laughs> hey, tell everybody what we're starting with. Sure. We're going to do a nice southern delicacy. Drums. Drums. <laughs>
America, the Little America kiosk is closed. Again, not sure if it's because of the storms or if that's like a temporary permanent closure. Hops and Barley's open. Again, the fun stop, the Kid Cut is closed. However, the Art of Disney is open. So you're gonna see the quality change and the sound of my voice change because I had to switch to my cell phone because both of our batteries are going bad. And I went through both full batteries today and still have an entire vlog to film. So I um, switched to my cell phone. But here in America, like I said briefly, the Art of Disney is open. The American Adventure is open, but just the stage show. The Voices of Liberty are not playing. And Regal Eagle is open, but for mobile ordering. So you do have to place your order, and then when your order's ready, you can go up to them and go in and get it. And they have indoor and outdoor seating. However, if you need to order at a kiosk, you have to go up to one of the cast members out front and explain to them that you need to order in person. So also, sorry that um, the Marimba de la Americas was only like the first couple songs. It was only half the show. Because again, the camera battery died. So I wasn't able to film the whole show. And it's super weird. I don't know why I keep looking here and not at the camera. Don't ask me why. You think I would like know better by now. But um, I will come back and get the whole show and put that up. But I'm just going to put a little bit in it, in the, this vlog. And the fife and drum where you get the turkey legs is open uh, right now. So you can get your turkey legs and your popcorn. And it is still raining, but barely. It's like the lightest drizzle. And the sky has lightened up significantly. And uh, there go the gemmeters back for the next show. But... Um, it is just an absolutely beautiful, I'm not kidding when I say it's like 70 degrees out right now. I'm in heaven. You may still hear some thunder in the background because the storm's like behind me now. But the draw freeze is open and this one specifically in between Italy and America has two seasonal um, specialty drinks. They have the Happy Snowman, which is a frozen lemon with blue caracal syrup. And then they have, it's like a frozen pina colada. They call it a tropical breeze. And this is like the food and wine specialty beverage. Oh, how amazing does Spaceship Earth look right now? Holy cow, it is stunning. There's just the tiniest little hole in the storm with just a peak of blue sky. And this, excuse me, the sun is hitting it just right. But we still got this way to go. I'm hoping by the time I get back to the front, Test Track may be reopen. So next up is Italy, and the store here on the left as you come in is closed. And that's the one that I believe has like the perfumes and the wines and the masks. The one on the right here, which has a lot of the um, homewares and like the little candies and, oh, looks like it's wines now too. That one is currently open. I will say it every time I come into Italy, she looks so much like one of the weeping angels from Doctor Who. I'm always afraid to like turn my back on her and I definitely don't want to blink. So back here, Tutto Italia is open. Tutto Gusto does look like it's open because the um, door, oh, yep, Tutto Gusto is open. I can see in Via Napoli, the sit down table service restaurant is open, but the Pizza Ataglio, the little like quick service in the corner, that is closed. And that's interesting. You used to enter Tutto Gusto in there, the wine cellar, but now you enter through Tutto Italia, and then that's an exit only. Coming out of Italy, the gelati stand is open, and of course, the festival booth is as well. And I love that the town is also celebrating the 2020 Food and Wine Festival, as you can see by all the little, um, oh my gosh, my brain fart, all the little flag thingies. I can't think of what they're called. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. So the Spain um, Pavilion is one of the coming this fall. So that one's not open quite yet. Oh my gosh, how amazing does that sky look right now? That is so gorgeous. Next up, we're gonna head into Germany. And it does look like the store itself is closed. Um, let's see what else. I see the pretzel stand is closed, but it looks like the Werther's original store is open. So the little beer stand is open and beer garden <laughs> restaurant is open. Can't tell if Summerfest is. So it looks like the whole big store on the right side is closed. 
And Summerfest is closed. Interesting. So it's only beer garden right now. And then this store right here. Didn't this used to be the drink store where you would get like um, the wines and stuff? Now it's a Crystal Arts. Wow, so completely different. Okay, here's the store I was thinking of. So this store, you actually can't get through right now. Uh, looks like that one is closed. Yeah, so it looks like these stores over here are closed unless you can get in a different way because I can't figure out. Oh, never mind. It is open. You just got to enter through the Christmas shop. Okay, by me. So this is what I was talking about with the Kid Cots where they're like pre-packaged things, easier and safer for the kids right now. So this is cool. All the German Christmas merch is still available and it is here in the Christmas store. I love it. This is awesome. Here they have Oktoberfest, like a German style ear. It, well, it's just a hat, but it's on a headband like the mini ears are. I love this. And it has a beer on one side and a pretzel on the other. And I believe it's $29.99, same as the mini ears. And for the Werther store, you're going to open right outside of Germany. So that's where you head in to go towards like beer garden and stuff. That is the exit. The entrance is on the front now. And right now there is no princess meet and greet or stage show um, with everything that's going on. And the German beer stand is closed, but the food pavilion is open. And I'm starting to look for a place to eat dinner because I'm getting hungry. If I remember correctly, I think I've had the, oh, I'm going to butcher this, Schinkenudelin before. Um, but I don't really want that today. So I think I'm going to try to head over to China and get the bao bun. So again, you'll notice a lot of the marketplaces that are open, actually all of them that are festival specific, still have exclusively food at, or still have exclusively flowering garden merchandise. I'm thinking the traditional start time is when we'll see the food and wine merch. It also seems like the only merch that has actually sold were the flower and garden um, orange bird ears. Cause it looks like they have everything else still and like a ton of it. So as we come into Africa, they have the festival market that has like just generic non Disney specific flower and garden merch. Here, they still have the jewelry maker and the carver, which they do not have over in Animal Kingdom right now. The store, however, is closed, but the food and wine booth is open. And um, I've heard the, boot, the beer that they have, the Tusker Lager, I've heard it's really good. So this whole section of shops is closed, as is obviously the face painting, because you can't really social distance with that. And then there is some festival... Um, specialties here at the refreshment outpost you can just get a coke slushy or a lemonade slushy for spike the bee that's pretty awesome um he is so cute too we might lee i think we're gonna have to come back and get one before this is over and the whole interactive play area where they have the drums and all is currently like roped off so you can't get in there and i don't know if you can see but it's actually a good thing I switched to my phone because it's like really starting to rain again. And uh, my camera's not waterproof, but my phone is. Coming up on China, and I never noticed how very much those look like hidden Mickeys. I don't know if they are supposed to be or not, but they really look like one. We did talk about this in the other video. So just real quick, the Alps is not open yet, but will be. And next we're gonna head into China. And can you guys see how hard it's starting to rain? I'm going to be soaked by the time I get out of here tonight. And so now we're coming up onto China. Obviously the Joy of Tea is still open. That's where Lee gets his Kung Fu punches. Now the Good Fortune Gifts is open. However, I'll show you when we get inside. So pretty much everything in the China Pavilion is closed. Nine Dragons is closed. The Lotus Blossom Cafe is closed and the entire whole store area is shut down. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. All of Japan is open, but all of China is closed. Now the museum is open and it is still uh, inside Shanghai Resort. So when you first come in, you have the big wall. It says inside Shanghai Resorts and shows all the different lands. And then they just have 
um, sections for the Disney hotels that they have here. So they have, they have a Toy Story hotel. What? I need to go here, like seriously, someday. Someday it'll happen. Then this is Disney Town, which is the their downtown Disney or Disney Springs, uh, their shopping district. Then they have Mickey Avenue, which is their main street. They just have some samples of the cast wardrobe that they wear of the different places. And then like this is what Adventureland looks like. Very cool. They call it Adventure Isle though. Like that's amazing. This is the costume from the Toy Box Cafe. That is wicked. I love how it's like a cross of blah blah. A cross of buzz and like a puzzle piece and with Woody's hat. And another cool thing they have is obviously because it's China, they have the Chinese calendar. So they have themed all of the um, the zodiacs for the Chinese calendar to characters from Disney. That was really hard to get out. And then we head into Fantasyland and they show like some of the different rides, the walkthrough of Alice in Wonderland, the Pooh's Honey Pot Spin, there's a Peter Pan's Flight, the Royal Grotto. I don't actually know what that is. I don't know what a lot of this is. Oh, this is cool. I don't remember seeing this before. This is beautiful. It's really cool to see how, like this is an Alice in Wonderland um, cast costume. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. And this is like, I've seen ride throughs of this Pirates of the Caribbean. It's amazing. I wish that someday they would bring this here because it's just out of this world amazing. And then the show in the China Pavilion, I don't remember what it's called, that is still open. Oh, and also the show is called Reflections of China, and that's what's still open. Oh my gosh, how epic is that? That's so awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I don't even care that it's raining looking at that sunset. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at how much Mongolian beef they put on there. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait to try this. This is impossible to eat. It's just falling apart. But it is really good. I'm glad I got this. I'm sorry guys, you're going to be so sick of looking at the sun. But I literally can't even with the sunset. Look at how gorgeous the sky looks. It's actually still raining on top of me. But it is just, oh, the Florida sunsets really are the best. So next we're coming up on Norway. So let's see what's open. So the Stave Church is open and they actually have this door propped open. So you can just go in and out without having to touch it. The Kringla Bakery is closed. And I'm really bummed about that because I really, really, really wanted an Anna chocolate cupcake the other day. And I think this is what kind of really made me mad the other day is I just wanted that chocolate cupcake so bad and the bakery was closed. Now, Eckershus is usually a mask-free relaxation station, but it does look like it's closed right now. So there's currently a 25 minute standby for Frozen Ever After, but um, there's only an hour left to the park, so I'm not going to be going in. The store, um, like the regular store and the Frozen Perfumey store are both open right now. So I don't know if this is like a mom thing or just a girl thing, but Norway, hands down, the best bathrooms in Epcot. Those are the AC's cranking. There's a ton, there's like 20 or 25 stalls in there. It's ridiculous clean. And it's like totally Norwegian themed. Like the colors are just beautiful. The tiles, the murals. I love everything about that bathroom. <laughs> Does look like the Wandering Reindeer. The toy store is closed. Obviously, so is the meet and greet for Anna and Elsa. So the gift shop right here as we come into Mexico is closed. However, the little ring carvers is open and Mariachi Cobre is not performing here right now. They're doing the Marimbas de Americas over in um, the American Gardens Theater. And also Donald is on an extended siesta. Um, I actually haven't seen Donald at all in any of the like cavalcades or the lawn meet and greets. 
So I just think he may be on a vacation. So La Hacienda de San Angel, the one on the water, is open. That is the table service, as well as the quick service. Quick service is doing the same. Um, Pre-scan, order on the app. That's how they want you to do it. And also the margarita stand, Chosa de Margarita, is also open. And now let's head into the Aztec Pyramid and find out what's going on inside. This is so weird with nobody in here. But my favorite, my fun little... Ah, uh, skeletonize yourself is off for now. I'm gonna head down, but quick overview. Everything's open in here. So La Cava de Tequila is open. And from what I understand, they have Tremana now, which is um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's tequila. So that's pretty cool. So it looks like the little festival market they have, Bazaar, is open right now. Um, and it looks like they pretty much have everything. I can't resist, guys. I have to ride. Donald Estoya Key. So there's one store closed in here, the one jewelry store. But Lee, the tiki birds are still for sale on the outside. It just keeps getting prettier. Oh, I love it. I have to say, as much as I love the um, Fiesta Tour as it is now, I can 100% see how they would turn that over to Coco. It would probably be the quickest, easiest transition they've ever had. And I think they could, with the way the layout is, they could really do it justice. I think that's one, like, original change I would be okay with. And I cannot believe I just said that. I agree with the song. I think I am un poco loco for even thinking that would be okay. What is wrong with me? Okay, so I was wrong. The Mexico um, Quick Service is not using the pre-order. Um, you are just walking up and ordering right at the stand. So I did forget to mention that both of the stores at the at the Port of Entry, um, Disney Traders and Port of Entry, are open uh, for shopping. Now this is the Joffrey's right at the entrance when you go left. Now that sounds goodly. I think I'll try this next time. It's frozen passion fruit and tea infused with lemon vodka. That sounds like something I would like. I also did forget to mention that Islands of the Caribbean, hello! Um, Earth Eats and Mexico pavilions are all open, the food stands. And we talked about this the other day. The only thing currently available in the Odyssey building is the seating area. The um, snack and drink stand and the Epcot experience are all closed down. But I gotta book it because the park's gonna be closing soon and I am getting on test track. <gasps> They've completely gutted mouse gears. It's just completely open. Oh, that hurts to see. I think this is the first time I've been here at night since these new lights were installed. I wonder, do they get brighter? Because it doesn't look like they put off that much light. They have a very cool effect though. They're very cool looking, but it's still like very dark in here. And the playground, the green landing over here, uh, is currently closed. And this is a to be determined, this looks like it's going to be Flavors from Fire. Because that's the exterior for Flavors from Fire but there's no sign on it yet. It just says coming this fall. It is so weird that that used to be a store and now it's just an open nothingness. So weird. But um, I'm gonna cut over this way. I know Lee talked about the donut box the other day and that the car was missing from the Coca-Cola fountain, but the donut box will be opening this fall and I don't know what's going on with this. I love that sound. This is like the longest queue ever for a walk-on ride. Good golly. Um, but I'm gonna ride test track. 
I haven't ridden it since the, before the parks closed was the last time I was on it. So needless to say, you're not making any cars right now. You're just going straight through. I literally think I'm going to walk on this ride. There's like nobody in here and I'm out of breath from like running through the queue. So I made it all the way up to the load area before I stopped and I'm already moving again. This is amazing. I look like a drowned rat. That is hysterical. But I got a car to myself. So everything in here is shut down. All the games, all the interactive stuff. I wonder if there's any cars right now. So they do still have some of the Chevy cars out for display. I'm sure you can't get in them right now, but I was surprised. I really didn't think they would have any. And the Test Track store is still open and available, but the little exit design station is not. So I just need to point out that it does say it's a 35 minute standby and I waited about a minute. This is new. There's a whole construction wall in front of Mission Space, but both green and orange for Mission Space is currently open as is the store at the exit. And they've extended the construction walls. It's very confusing. So there's a chunk in the middle that's under construction. So you can walk this way or you can walk right in between there. But I wanna hit up Mouse Gear, so I'm going this way. And the popcorn kiosk right outside of Mission Space is still open. So all the water play features are currently closed. Um, the snack bar is currently closed. I don't know if that's normally open or not, but Mouse Gears is open and they actually have a sign up now. And of course, the Joffrey stand is open. So, it's about the same. Nothing's really changed since last time I was in here. Oh, I haven't been able to get an up close shot of this. This is the flower and garden Alex and Annie with um, Buzz the Bee. It's cute. <clears throat> I don't know if I saw that one. That one is the figment painting. That one's cute too. I think that's also a flower and garden. So again, it's only flower and garden merch right now. No food and wine merch yet. All right, I have four minutes. Sorry, it's shaky. I'm not stopping. I have four minutes to get to Spaceship Earth before it closes. Think I can do it? Probably not, but I'm gonna try. One thing I really love about these <clears throat> weird, like kind of backstage walkways you get shots that you wouldn't normally get. So if the Epcot monorail was running, how epic would that be of a picture with the monorail in the picture going across with Spaceship Earth? <gasps> I made it and with two minutes to spare. And did you know that the number three is actually a hidden Mickey? <laughs> literally can't even come close to getting all of Spaceship Earth in the shot. But, oh God, how beautiful is it? Love it. I love that the pin trading store now has an official sign. Um, the pin trading store is open as well as the gift shop right at the entrance. So there's also a little gift shop right here by where the stroller ECV rentals are, where they have just a few things that you can purchase and that's open as well. And I feel most of you probably know this, but there also is no Epcot monorail right now. So it's only bus or car to get here. And the Joffrey stand is open. However, the park's closed, so it's closed. I have to say, it's real easy to find my car when there's nobody around it because the park's closed. All right, guys, that's what's open at Epcot. So again, between the two videos, there were a couple kiosks. I wasn't sure if they were permanently closed or if it was just temporary. But other than that, that's everything you need to know.
But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys.